Right then, welcome back to the channel. And um, didn't we all have a fun Saturday night? Um, yeah, no, me either. Um, ignore the mess. Uh, I'm actually, I'm going camping. I say camping. I'm not even camping, really. I'm, I'm going to do a wild camp in the woods on my own, where it's probably going to be about three degrees. And I guarantee I have a far better time than I've just had tonight watching that absolute sack of shit now i don't know how they only scored a single goal xg is off the charts realistically for for a single goal in like the hundredth minute whenever it was wrap me head around this because i can't wrap it can you wrap yours around this so we conceded 31 shots today oh, jesus that's a lot it is a lot and it's above what the average has been for us this season which has been really bad but 31 shots. Now, Brentford only had 47% of the ball. And the ball's typically only in play for somewhere between 55 and 60 minutes. About 58 minutes if you want to get technical. So considering they only had 47% of the ball, that means that they probably were, were taking a shot for about every 55 seconds of being in possession. Every 55 seconds they were in possession, it resulted in a shot. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You can drill that. Like, I, I could put a session on at training this week where I say, right, attack versus defence. You, I, mean, I, I do an attack versus defence and I do it 10 seconds to shoot. Can we United not do like a... 90 seconds to not allow a shot drill or summer just is there any fucking chance at being a little bit better defensively the the spacing that we are open with is insane the very very lazy thing to do is to go this manager's shit he's got to go and i don't believe that that is the case i would say this team is playing shit and there is absolutely some of that he's got to carry the responsibility for. But I think judging him on the 900 f fucking defensive partnership that we've had to play, the constant injuries that we've had to face in the back line is not right. Judging him on how the team performs when you have an 18 year old now 16 games into his premier league career being played alongside mctominay let's have a look at mctominay's stats for tonight actually because when some people say oh, you're always picking on mctominay I, I i have an issue with scott mctominay playing central midfield because i feel and please please talk to me if you disagree with this take Please just say why and like give me some actual things that I can reply to in the comments rather than just saying I disagree. But give me an argument. Say I disagree and here's the three reasons that I disagree with that. And I'll happily converse with someone. So Scott McTominay today. Uh, where Where is his stats? Give me a sec. 90 minutes played. 23 passes. Central midfield. I feel we have no control when Scott plays central midfield. Kobe Mainu. 80 minutes played. 37 passes. 50% more. And 70% pass rate for McTominay. 88% pass rate. 37 of 42. McTominay, 23 of 33. And then, I mean, he won one ground duel. But Tom, uh, Mainu wins three. Lost possession 14 times. He only had it 23 times. Oh, no, he didn't. He had more than that. Lost possession 14 times. Mainu lost it eight. Just. One tackle for McTominay. Two, four, Maynard. Just, 
I get that there's this crash the box sort of last man threat that he offers, but I just don't see what else he offers. How many shots did? Yeah, it, it'll, it'll be an interesting one. Have a guess before I read it out. Rasmus Hoyland, how many shots? One. How are you expecting your strikers to do anything when you give them one shot? In fact, who did all the shooting? Because United had a fair amount of shots. We had 11 shots. Who was doing all the shooting? Can I get to see that? I don't think I can click that very easily. Where's the shooting come from, from United? Because I don't remember 11 shots. What did Marcus have? Marcus had one shot. Same as Hoyland, right. Garnacho. No shots. Sweet. So in our forward three, two shots. Wicked. Bruno Fernandes. Three shots. More shots in Bruno than the rest of the forward three in front of him. That might be telling. <sighs> So I don't blame Ten Hag, but he has to recognise some of the issues in the squad. Now, if nobody else is fit, nobody else is fit. And there's not a lot you can do about that when nobody else is fit. But my God, if I'm not seeing the same thing all season, structurally, when we lose the ball, it's just a race back to our goal, isn't it? There's no sort of composed kind of defending at any point from Manchester United. There's nowhere that the structure just sort of sweeps up and catches stuff in a net because of the way the players were correctly positioned. But this is a guy that I saw doing this stuff last year. So has he abandoned his principles? Or is he not being able to field a team that's capable of playing to those principles? It feels like it could be a combination of the two, in all honesty with you. I don't know, fucking an hour in or something I tweeted, I don't know how we win this game Mason Mount steps up puts the ball in the back of the net thank you bit of decisiveness from someone brilliant three points in the bag, absolute smash and grab I don't know how we've done it but we've got the fucking win oh wait a minute now we can't fucking keep it out the back and we're just going to go and fucking concede so easy. Why? Why? And I know it was their 31st shot of the game or some shit, but f come on. Once you get that up, it's the old soldier routine. Everyone's got a head injury. Everyone's hamstrings gone. Everyone's got to tie the lace. Where's the leadership, man? Boot the ball into fucking Rosehead. Put another ball on the pitch so anything quickly can't be taken. Just do whatever you've got to do to leave Brentford with three points in, in the team coach and get the fuck back up north and figure it out. But we couldn't even do that. We held on for a grand total of about 100 fucking seconds. What a shit day of football. Paddock were 4-0 down at half time today. So my day started off fucking magic. I see Spurs go behind. And I'm thinking, nice. That's what we want. Spurs win. All right, cool. Never mind. Got Villa later. We'll see how that goes. Villa play shit and win. Right. All right, well, every game can't go tits up, can it? United 8 o'clock, Brentford. Just above relegation. Surely it's three points in the gaff. Honestly. It's fucking draining at times, isn't it? Uh, let me know if you want me to do five things live in the morning and uh, we can have a chat. Or if not, I'll just fucking do it regular style. But let me know in the comments. And if you want to escape from football, the reason I'm doing this shit is because I have a whole other channel where it isn't football and it's me being a dick in the outdoors. The survival course video, winter survival course video, which is really good in my opinion. There's one about hiking, 
There's one about a fucking car. There's one about ex-military dogs on there. And there's fucking tons all planned for the summer. If you're into all that shit, go watch it. Because football's fucking garbage at the moment, innit? Anyway, in a bit.